Now, the defense and the prosecution have rested in Ohio's largest corruption trial. And this comes after former Speaker of the House Larry Householder took the stand in his own federal corruption trial for the past two days. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fahmy joins us now live from Cincinnati, where that trial is underway. And Natalie, the prosecution cross-examined him today, correct? That's right. First, I want to note that just moments ago, walking out of the courthouse here, Householder told reporters he thinks things went well. That's despite the prosecution reminding him multiple times today that he is under oath after the defense wrapped up their direct questioning. Now, there's no cameras or cell phones allowed in the courtroom, so you won't hear or see testimony from the former speaker, who is being accused of racketeering in a multi-million dollar bribery scheme to pass energy bailout legislation called House Bill 6. But once the defense tied loose ends, the prosecution started started their cross examination, asking Householder about his January 2017 trip to Washington, D.C., where many of the pay to play talks allegedly happened. Yesterday, Householder testified that he never went to dinner with First Energy players and was back to his hotel early in the night. But the prosecution showed timestamp photos that suggest Householder was with the company's senior vice president past the time Householder testified he was back in his hotel. Plus, a call log that shows he had seven calls with the former VP during his time in D.C. The prosecution also brought brought up hotel booking confirmation that showed Householder was staying in the same hotel as then First Energy CEO Chuck Jones. Householder also alleged that he never saw draft legislation for House Bill 6 from First Energy, but the prosecution did show a document that was recovered from his ripe office that is draft legislation. Natalie, earlier today you passed along a little news nugget from the courtroom that there was a medical emergency in the courtroom as well that delayed the proceedings. Now that the defense has rested, what are the next steps? That's right. Well, shortly after the defense rested, that medical emergency did delay proceedings for a few minutes, but then the prosecution called Special Agent Blaine Wetzel back to the stand to tie up loose ends before resting their case as well. Now on Friday and Monday, Monday, jury deliberation rules will be talked about in that courthouse, and then closing statements will happen from the prosecution and defense on Tuesday. Once those closing statements wrap up, the jury will go into deliberation, and now we don't know how long that deliberation will last. It could be hours or it could be days. Again, this is in the trial for former Speaker of the Ohio House and former GOP Chairman Matt Borges. All right, Natalie, thank you for following that so closely for us and for those updates. And of course, you can find all of our reporting and stories up to this point on this case right now on NBC4i.com.